When it comes to the select operator, you have to use the symbol. This denotes the concept of selection. When it comes to the columns, obviously, I will be using the projection operations. So guys, whenever I use this union symbol, so treat this A and B as a two relation. So observe here, what is that we have? We have max, which will give me the maximum value that I have in that particular column. everyone i welcome all of you to the yet another interesting session on transactions so guys this is going to be the last session which i'm going to discuss about the transactions yes what do i have in this session for all of you it's a uh, time for all of us to check that in the agenda so guys basically i will be discussing about the relational algebraic operations that's going to be the very very important topic with respect to your examination all right so guys what exactly this relational algebraic operations so guys, let's understand that one by one. So whenever I say relational algebra operations, so the first thing it should come to your mind and you should never forget about these six operations. What exactly that I have here? I have select project union, set difference, cartesian product, rename, and also I have other different operations like you know joins, right? So let's discuss these operations one by one. All right, so guys, when it comes to the select operator, you have to use the symbol. This denotes the concept of selection. So what are you trying to select? Say, for example, whenever I write table, okay? So please remember. So what is this? This is a table is what we think, right? But when it comes to the relational algebra, I should always treat this as a relation, which we have already discussed, right? Yes. So in this relation, if I want to select the particular rows, so what is that I have to use? I have to use the selection operation. This is what you need to remember. I use this selection operation to select the row is what you should never forget. So then what is the syntax? I have some of the examples for the queries. So instead of discussing at the end, okay, let me discuss it here itself. So guys, selection. So that is what the symbol which I am writing here and then within the parenthesis I am writing number department number is equal to 4 and the employee within the bracket from which relation are you trying to extract so from the relation employee from the relation employee whose department number is 4 you select that row that is what I am writing as a query. So this is what you need to remember with respect to the selection operation. The next operation that we have is all about the projection operation. My dear students, the first thing that you need to remember when it comes to the projection operation is all about this operator. So I will be mainly using this to select the columns. So in the previous one, we have discussed the selection operation. So when it comes to the selection operation, mainly we will be using that to retrieve the tuples. So but when it comes to the columns, obviously I will be using the projection operations. So guys. Let's take a simple example that we have here. So the first one that we have is I am using a projection operation operator. All right. Then after that, I will be using or I will be writing the columns which I need to project. So the first column that here I have is customer name, then followed by I have status. So from which relation are you trying to project this? Yes, of course, I have to mention the name of the relation within the parenthesis. So this is a simple query as an example, which I am explaining to all of you to explain the concept of projection operation. So moving forward to the next topic that we have is union operation. It's similar and same. So guys, whenever I use this union symbol, so treat this A and B as a two relation. To include all the tuples which is there in A and B, I will be using this union operation. Whatever I have, all the tuples from the A and B, I will be projecting. So with the help of this union operation. Moving forward to the next one that I have, set difference. When it comes to the set difference, imagine obviously this is not a unary operation. So guys, I need two relations. So here, you need to understand I have A and B. So when I perform A minus B, the first thing that you need to remember is I will include all the tuples, but which is not there in the B. I will remove it. What is the meaning of it, sir? Listen to me carefully. Let me repeat this one more time. So guys, what happens? The result of A minus B. What is the result of A minus B when I perform A minus B? So 
is a relation in which includes all the tuples that are there in A. So it will not uh, worry about anything. So it will have all the tuples that I, I have in A, but which is not in B. That is what you need to remember. I will include all the things, but which is not in B, I will not include in the result. So that is the meaning of set difference. Moving forward to the next one that we have Cartesian product. So guys, each and every value that I have in the relation A will get multiplied with each and every value that I have with B. So the product or the result will be the result of Cartesian product and you have to use this symbol for the Cartesian product. That's what you need to understand when it comes to the concept of Cartesian product. Moving forward to the next one, rename operation. So guys, I will be using the symbol to rename the attributes of relation. So fine, this is the renaming operation that we are trying to perform here and then A will get renamed by B. This is what you need to remember. You all know renaming in the sense I will be changing the existing name of a relation. So that's what you need to remember when it comes to the rename operation. So guys, and also I have additional relational operations along with this. So we have studied six. Along with that, some of the additional operations that we have, that's going to be the aggregate functions, which we have already studied in SQL, right? So in the previous sessions, I have discussed that. So what is that? Max, min, count, all those things, we use it for our aggregation operations, right? So we also have some average, maximum, minimum. So this is what we call it as an aggregate function. So guys, you need to remember, we always use the aggregate function operation F. So observe here, what is that we have? F max which will give me the maximum value that I have in that particular call. All right. So in the same way, yuff min, okay, yuff sum, yuff count. So yuff count will give me the number of number, whatever you have, it will count the rows. Yuff sum, it will calculate the total value that I have in that column. So yuff min, it will give me the minimum value. Yuff max will give you the maximum value. So this is what you need to remember when it comes to the aggregate functions in relational operations. It's very, very simple. So please observe here. F is a extra character that we are using when it comes to the aggregate function, what we have discussed in the uh, SQL. It's very, pretty simple to remember. All right, so that's what you need to remember. So how do I write this in syntax? So observe here, F max salary. Okay, F max salary. Salary is what? Salary is the column name. That's what you need to remember. Here observe, what is this employee? Employee is a relation name. So it retrieves the maximum salary value from the employee relation. So that's what you need to remember with the F max. Same thing happens with the F min. It retrieves the minimum salary from this column. Salary is a column name. From which relation? From employee. Same thing happens, F sum. It will calculate the total amount, what we have in the salary column. So from which relation? Employee. In the same way, F count, SSN, average salary from employee. What exactly it performs? Observe, computes the count number of employees that are there in the average salary. Basically, we are using the count function to count the number of tuples or the records what we have. This is what you need to remember when it comes to the additional relation operation. So with this, I have come to an end of this session. So thank you. Bye-bye. Take care and happy learning.